Well, hello everybody, Matt Kleskowski here, and one of my favorite tools inside of Photoshop is the content aware technology. I think it is by far um, the best distraction removal technology I've seen in anything out there. And knowing some little tips and tricks on how to use it and uh, where and how best to use it, I think it can definitely help you get better results from it. So I wanna show you a quick tip here. We're gonna grab the lasso tool and we are going to just, I'm gonna draw a lasso around what we have right here, okay? So I'm just gonna lasso around, it doesn't have to be perfect, it can be a very loose type of a selection. And then from there, a lot of people don't know, so we, the old content aware, we would come to the edit menu and you could go down here to fill. You go into the fill dialog box and then under contents, you could go to content aware the thing was, was before October of 2018, we didn't have any choices. It was just, you know, go there and let Photoshop do its thing. And I click OK. And it does a pretty good job. Um, I can click the deselect. It's kind of selected a darker, patchier, shady area from there and repeated it over here. But it's not bad. But let's say, you know, it, it's not what you want. It's not as perfect as you want it to be. So I can undo a couple of times and we'll get back to our selection there. I'll come back up here to edit and then we can go down here to the content aware fill dialog box. So we still have both. And that really is gonna take me to the, the bulk of the tip here. And I'll just extend my canvas a little bit there, but I can, I can tell it what I don't want it to take into account, which is gonna be this little shady area down here because I know that that's what was causing the problem. And I can say, you know, leave some of this out of there as well because we don't need it and even some of that darker shady area. And as soon as I, I let go, you're gonna see it redraw itself over there. And to me, I can see in the preview that's so much better than the other version was. So this does work better, it just takes more time. So the happy medium and what I would say the tip for you is, is let me cancel out of here is try them both. Nothing says you always have to go into that dialog box first, and I'm gonna show you a keyboard shortcut that's gonna help this out, which is Shift Delete, or on some keyboards it might be the Backspace key. So just press Shift Delete or Shift Backspace. That's gonna open up the Fill dialog box where you most of the time have it set to Content Aware. Just click OK, and you can evaluate it. Again, I'll undo really quick and just show you how fast it is. Shift Delete, OK, hit the Enter key, and I can look at it. If it's not good, I just press Command or Control Z to undo, head up here, and I can go into the menu and go into the Content Aware Fill dialog box and spend a few more seconds or even a minute and get in there and refine it. And just overall, I think that will speed up the process. The easy way may work for a lot of what you're doing. You don't always have to go into that dialog box. So there's a keyboard shortcut and there's a nice fast way to give it a try. And then if it doesn't work, you can always jump into the dialog box and get a little bit more refined. And finally, just wanted to take one quick moment to pay the bills and point you to mattk.com slash preset hyphen system. Uh, this is my photography preset system. It is my new release in the last couple of months here. And um, it works, it's a preset system that actually works for both Lightroom and Photoshop. Uh, it's got a bunch of different preset packs that are inside of it. You can always find out more over here on the website and uh, they are on sale right now. So swing by and check it out.